Hi, welcome to my genie bottle. I'm going to make a page today and I thought I'd bring you along. I've got some things here that I want to include on the page. We'll see if it works out. Maybe it won't, but I've got some twine and some floss. I didn't have black, so I'm settling for gray. I've got some perfume. I've got some American Crafts twine, whatever it is. I have stamps, sticky booting stickers which I think this will work well and some paper and some pictures so this paper I think will work well which I got out of this paper pad that cuts with a view just my type double-sided paper um, and I've printed pictures and I've got some cardstock kind of in peach I like to mat things. The more times, the better. I've got some pictures that I'm going to use. Um, this is from when I was, oh, 14. Uh, wonderful smiling pictures here. This looks like a mug shot. But <laughs> here they are. I took pictures of pictures. They're so old that they were like small and kind of rounded on the corners. It's probably like 1981 maybe. And then these are recent pictures I took of some of my riding boots that I love that are not clean, but I love them. So I just put them in the floor and took pictures of them and the insides, which say made in England, which I love so much. Anything from England is very special to me. And so I thought I'd make a single page because as I was playing around, I kind of like the four pictures together on a single page and that's not my usual go-to. Usually I do double page spreads, but I, I want these all on one page. So I think this will be, um, let's see, I think that I want to have peach as the border and this perfume I got at a... I think it was a, a um, riding shop. It had tack and and outfits and, and a perfume. Well, these right here, I wanna use on my layout. So, and I do like this perfume, whatever it is, I do like it. I got this, mm, I like that. Probably give me a headache, but I do like it. I got it in maybe 2012, something like that. And let's move this out of the way. I was thinking I could, I've never stamped these, but I was thinking I could use peach and black to kind of, you know, go with the, go with the look. So I'm standing at the moment, but I'm going to sit down now. I'm going to sit down now and I'm going to start cutting. I'm pretty sure how much of a border I I'm pretty sure I want the peach as the background paper. I did pull two sheets of each of these in case I wanted to do a double page spread, but I really want all four pictures on the same page. So I think I want, I guess, that much of a border. So I'm gonna take off maybe a half inch, I guess. Mm, maybe three quarters of an inch. Mm, sure, why not? Seems so arbitrary, but it kind of is. Okay. This is cute paper. Very cute. And I do, my hair is everywhere. I do want to ink it because I do. So I'm going to use, do I want black? I guess I'll use black. Although I think brown would be beautiful with peach, but I'm going to use, oh, what do we got on there? I'm going to use get this out of here. I'm going to use this one and this ink. Let me just make sure I'm centered. I got the camera in a different position than normal, so I just want to check and make sure everything's kosher. Can't get it open. Okay. All right. Nice thick paper. It was funny because I have a paper pad over there that's, um, die cuts with a view I think and it's a bunch of different color card stocks and I've got some bright bright paper pads and I've got some um, of these pastel colors and I'm not a pastel girl but like I've said to myself many times when you need a color 
like a pastel, you need that color. Like, I'd love to work in only bright, bright colors, but many times the color I need is one I wouldn't go to, like a peach or a pastel green or, you know, pastels or even grays. I'm like, mm, I don't want gray. You know, when you're shopping for paper and you're like, oh, I want these bright, pretty colors. But when you need gray, you need gray. And when you need peach and other pastels, that's what you need. So with these pictures, bright colors aren't gonna work. Not as well as the pastel, which I don't normally gravitate to. So if that's an interesting little thing, I think. This um, came free with an order I placed at scrapbook.com recently. Okay, and I do like more defined borders. If I'm gonna do it, I really wanna accent. If I wanna accent the edges, I usually wanna very much accent the edges. Thus, I'm still here accenting the edges, applying more and more ink. Okay, set that aside and let's go for this one. I like the textured, it's like basil. Is this basil? I don't know. Whatever it is, I like the texture. And I wanna go easier on this because it seems more absorbent than that other paper. And I don't wanna make a, make a mistake. This would, making a mistake on plain peach cardstock would be way more obvious than if I were to make a mistake on that, that doodled sort of scripty white and black cards, not cards, not but paper. It would show up more a mistake on this one than on that other paper I was just working with. So I wanna be more, a little more careful here with the ink application. I like the look of defined edges. I like the look of lots of mats on pictures and I like that look. I think that's as good to stand up again and make sure. Yeah, I got it pretty centered, I suppose. Tuck this in a drawer over there. Um, This I like and would like to use, this washi tape, but I have a feeling it's one of the thin ones that the only thing I'm gonna get off here is little strips. Maybe not. Actually, that came off really well, and yeah, I could work with this. So we may use that also on here. I'm not going to gut this because I have another page, and I'm not madly in love with it. It just happens to work well. I mean, it's great, but it's not like, oh, I need to put that here and there and everywhere else. I'm not like that with this. It's, it's nice, but all I need is for it to be here on this page, I think stand up and look at this. <clears throat> Hard time centering things. I don't know why. But I do. Okay. Okay. Let's just put it down a little bit to secure it in a location and then go to town with this guy. My industrial strength. ATG. I didn't wipe off the borders um, after I inked them. And the reason is because I forgot. And uh, so I'm gonna do it now because I really don't want that ink everywhere on my surface and it will get everywhere. It just will. It just does. So I'm going to do these and try to make it not happen like I think it's gonna this and I am going to lift this out of here and clean this. Yes I am ordered more alcohol wipes yesterday. Get this out of here. I love alcohol wipes. That's the nurse in me I think. Okay. Okay let's clean this shall we? This is new. I used to have a pink one. I still do. It's off in the floor right now. But it was, I had melted it with acetone in spots and it was, while I'm at it, I might as well clean this lamp base too. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. Anyway, where was I? Um, 
the other mat I had, the pink one, had I had gotten acet acet acetone on it and it melted it. Once upon a time when I was working with dolls and doing face-ups and removing wigs and the acetone melted the surface and it bothered me, even though it was fine, I could still work with it. <sighs> so I got the black background, which is easier to see what I'm doing, I think, on camera. So here it is. Pink's off to the side. It's been cast off. Um... And that's the information I have about that. I think I want the, not pink, peach on the inside. Yeah, I do. I do, I do. Let's see. I've got other um, riding gear, boots and stuff in storage. These are boots I've gotten in the last, where's my pencil? I've gotten in the last um, 10 years. And my other boots, like I said, are in storage. And um, my other riding gear, I've got some riding gear, not in storage, but lots in storage. Which I'd like to get someday once I have again at my fingertips. But we've got lots of things in storage. It's like, we, we just need to get into our storage units and start sorting and figuring out what to do with that. So what, what is going on? Hello, I do that all the time. Um, obviously, I cut wrong somewhere, but I don't know where. So I do that a lot. I'm not used to scrapbooking and talking at the same time. I don't know if I was made that crystal clear yet, but I'm sure you have observed it in action. I'll make cuts this way and the other and go like that. Just, my tummy's growling. Oh, I know why. Because I'm hungry. Okay. No, it's too much on this side now. I need to just do videos where I don't talk. And all I do is scrap. Then things like that won't be happening. It's such, in such quick succession anyway. And <laughs> with such frequency. I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. Obviously. Okay. That's good. Very good. Multibane. Um, and then, oh, I know what I did. I grabbed the wrong picture. I think this was to mat this. That's funny. That's okay. I got both done. All cockamamie and everything, but nonetheless, they're done. Gee. Okay. Let me push this here. I think I want a relatively same spacing on these two mats. All right. And then we'll do that one next. This one, hello, Julie, goes with that one. Hello, heads up, pay attention. Um, all right. Alrighty then. I realized in some of my videos that I referenced um, some people and channels that I didn't give explanation for. And you, if you are not familiar with them, are like, what's this chick talking about? What I'm talking about is I do, uh, I'm a subscriber to Shamel. She's a scrapbooker who has two lives a week and teaches classes also that you can pay for on Shamel.com. And we have a community over there. Um, during the lives, especially where we chat in the, in, the, um, in the chat and share and have fun. Have a good rollicking old time over there. Anyway, there's a girl over there, Amy, who doesn't like tearing paper. We all have our quirks, and that's one of hers. And whenever Shamel goes to tear paper, she makes apologies ahead of time to Amy. I'm going to tear paper. Heads up. I'm sorry. And then tear away she does. And I've, I've mentioned that my tearing paper and Amy's loathing of it. And I realized that I hadn't made an explanation for, or an introduction as to what the heck I'm talking about. 
talking about our good times over there on Shamal's channel when she does live scrapbookings, uh, scrapping videos on Monday and Friday usually. That's what I'm referring to. And now you know, it's pretty decent I like. This is pretty decent I like also. Um, and then this one. I don't know why I didn't smile. I mean, what is this? My mom probably said, Julie, let's take a picture. And I was like, dang it. And maybe I was getting ready to go to bed and really wanted to go to bed. So I was frowning. I don't know. Really wish I'd smiled. But, you know, here I am not smiling and like I'm about to be inserted into a jail cell. <laughs> oh, you got to love it when you're a teenager. Oh, if I could go back to my teen years knowing what I know now. Wouldn't have been so sullen. No, I don't. I don't know what was going on. Usually, I was smiling away for pictures. I think, but not in this case. All right. I, these acrylic nails are a beast to work with. Let me tell you. But my nails are so thin and weak; they just break back to nothing. So I just, I've been doing the acrylics for mm, maybe about a year. And they just drive me nuts. Um, but it's better than having just weak, breaking, peeling nails all the time, I guess. I don't know. Pick your poison. All right. I need to get them done. I'm sick of looking at this accent nail. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I got over it. Like, uh, the day after I got them done, first day, I was like, oh, pretty. I love it. Next day, I'm like, mm-mm. -mm. Done with it. It's funny. Which I could, I could paint over the accent now with some basically red looking polish, but I'm not that caught up in the feeling either way to do anything about it. And I'm not in the mood to go get it done, so I'm just going to have to live with it. And you're going to have to live with me complaining about it, unless you'd like to mute me. Feel free. Wish I could mute me. <laughs> Yes, yes, I do. All right, I'm gonna save that. It just shocks me how long it takes me to make one page or a, a layout. It's, it's kind of shocking. Why it takes me so long, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, wrong way. And I like the crease at the bottom where it gets a crease. Um, good. Good enough. I think I wanted the, um, I look, so I look like I'm about to be booked right here and tossed in jail. And then in the other one, I look like, I think I'm better than you, everyone else and God included, <laughs> which is so funny because not, not anything like how I think about things at all, at all. It's, it's hilarious. Not a good depiction of my personality anyway, but this is what I've got and this is what I'm scrapping. Yes, it is. Okay. I went a little wide on that, so I'm going to cut inside that line a little more instead of right on top of it. Okay. That like these. This one was pretty much right on, I believe. And then, which I mean, and it is even taking this much time. And I already kind of selected the papers I wanted to work with, so you weren't even along for that process. So here it is, still taking me a long time, even though I already got the papers. It's amazing, ain't it? Amazing. I got Mozart playing in the other room for the cats and they're all happy. I have the heater going in there <laughs> and Mozart playing and they're all curled up smiling. It's very cute. So for instance, like if I'm talking, so here I'm cutting, right? Well, I would lose track of which side it is I'm going to work with, but I happen to see my line, so I'm good to go for the moment. However, it wouldn't be unlike me to just prattle on and lose my way and I'm cutting the wrong dang side. You know, I do, I do stuff like that on a scary, scary frequent basis. 
Oh. I need mean, that. I think, okay, I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like it. So this will have to either be in the front of the book or the back of the book where there's only one page, or if it's in the middle of the book, it's going to have to have a facing page that's complementary to it, like solid black or even peach or something. Okay, so I might as well, since I know I'm going to use these, I might as well stick them on there, right? Yes. Go ahead and do that, duh. Let's see. Okay. Bring out this guy. This, this is gonna be hard to do with, with a shorter picture. My usual method of getting the picture flipped up is harder to do with the smaller picture. Uh -huh. I don't do well like Gina K blows my mind and other people who are very able to center a picture and get it on there without doing my crazy contortions. You know how they do that? I don't know. I try to do it the way they do it, lining up two corners or whatever. I still get it crooked. <laughs> I don't even know how. It's not even possible to get it crooked like I get it crooked, but I do every last time. It's amazing. Okay, so um, so I have my method to try to ensure something gets the hell out of something that's on there evenly, which is what you are even now witnessing. Which this looks like it's a, it needs a little nudge to the, that direction. Okay. Here, hello, hello. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. My son, my son, one of my sons. I was texting him. Am I out? I'm out. I was texting him, Scotty. My middle son, the father of four little girls, um, the triplet girls, and then Sophia, who was just born February 5th. He, I was texting him this week about different things and talking about his snowboarding accident, showing him his hospital bracelet, which I found the other day as I was rummaging through stuff. And he's like, oh, wild. I'm like, yeah, no kidding. And we're texting just stuff like that. And then I text his wife and I'm like, hey, how's it going? How's the baby? Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, good. Things are good, et cetera, et cetera. Fills me in a little and says, can't wait till Scott gets home. Scott being my son. And I'm like, where's Scott? <laughs> she says, in the Czech Republic. <laughs> He's been in the Czech Republic all week on business. Um, they're doing testing. He's a biomedical engineer. He works with heart cardiac devices. He's been in the Czech Republic. I'm like, that little scoundrel. I was texting him through the week and he couldn't bother to tell his mother he was in the Czech Republic. Really? What? Then I was stalking my other son's Instagram and Michael, my oldest son, the musician, singer, songwriter guy. And um, I saw uh, in his Instagram stories, beautiful pictures of beautiful rocks and they were red and gorgeous. And I was like, are you in Utah? And he's like, yep. <laughs> Normally he's in Nashville, but he's in Utah doing a show. Um, a show, which he had told me about back along that I wasn't aware and oriented to the fact that it was right now that he was there. But anyway... That's funny. I tell you what, three grown sons, and that's what happens. You never know what's going on as their mother. But if you have daughters, I think you know what's going on more. Okay, so everything's taped, right? And do I want to mess with that? Um, do I want to mess with this thing? I don't think I really want to mess with that thing. Um, I hate that it ran out, though, because that's my only real guarantee 
that things stay in position for me and my climate. That's my only real guarantee is to use that ATG. Um, I don't know. I'll try these things and I'll go back. I'll go back and secure them if, if they seem to come loose or whatever. I'll just go back and secure them. What is this? Is this repositional permanent? Okay. Let's do permanent. Usually I don't, I've, I don't get along with this type of thing. I've tried to get along with this type of thing, but I don't get along with this type of thing because I don't know. It like catches or breaks or I can't refill it or some weird thing happens. I don't know why. I just don't seem to be able to operate <laughs> these things very well. Let's, let's try it. Okay. Who needs to be, who needs to be done? Is everybody done? I've lost my, okay. And that's on there. All right. So I think I want that at the top and that at the top. See, I knew when I matted these pictures twice and ha I was going to lose, I was going to lose quite a bit of this paper. Um, and I don't know what I think about that. So if I were to do an opposite page, um, I could, I could see more of the paper and I could like write the notes on an opposite page. I could, um, let's see. I want this on there somewhere and I want to use this ribbon from Vicky, which is so darn cute. All right, let's move that there. And let's, let's get paper up in here. And let's see, if I'm gonna do Copics, I need to, I need to use this, which I think I need, I need new, I need new, new ink pads of this, pretty sure. Let's see how this stamps. Oh, okay. It's going to really come up black looking on that. And I don't know that I want it really black looking. I don't. So therefore... This is from 2021. I need to get more. Um, how about Gina K? Peach Bellini. That's pretty bright peach. Gorgeous, but it's pretty dang bright. Let me. Smells good. It smells like babies. <laughs> I love the powdered scent ones. It smells so good. Okay. This I've had since nine and nine of 19. I don't know my nose. Endless. Which I'm mostly over. I mean, I'm mostly over my, my bout with the flu. It was fun. It was, it's always a good time when you have the flu, right? Um, well, let's do it this way. Gina K products are amazing. So, bring this back and have a look. I think I have a refill on this somewhere. Is that too bright? I think it... Mm, is it too bright? I don't know. I don't know. Let's carve out together. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, like that. Now, though, I need thicker cardstock because this is just, it's not even cardstock. Okay, let's get some cardstock. 
that feels like 110 pounds. This is better. Okay. I don't need 110 pounds um, for this purpose. Back off here. Bring this back. Put my glasses on my face. Let me see if I have some refill of this. I want to say I do. <clears throat> Where would it be? One wonders. Um, I don't think it would be in here. I bet these are all dried. Betcha. Betcha. Betcha, betcha, betcha. Oh, not in that one. Okay. It must be in the next drawer down i don't see it in here either now now where would that be i thought i had re anchors in here didn't i no yes no yes where are my re anchors um this is not what i want this is also not what I want. That's not what I want. Could have sworn I had Dina K. Ray Inkers. God only knows where I put it. I know I have Gina K. Ray Inkers. I just don't know where I put it. Okay, we're just going to go with what we've got then until I locate them. Always a good time up in the genie bottle. <laughs> I'm trying to find where I could have sworn they'd be in that one drawer, but... Alas, they are not. Look over here. Um, what is this? See, I've got re anchors left, I've got re anchors right. <laughs> this. Oh, hey, that looks promising. Let's look in that. This is decent. I'm fine with that. I could, I think I could squeeze out. I do, I do have it. I knew I did. Let's re ink it. It's a little dry feeling. I wanted a little squishier feeling. How many minutes have I been? 32 minutes. That's just unreal. <laughs> that's, a, that's nearly a crime. Okay. One page. Already selected the paper. Already selected the paper. And here I am. You gonna come out? All right, there we go. I don't know that I've ever re-inked anything other than a stays on. It's a gorgeous color. As I said, everything I've ever gotten from Gina K is so immaculate and beautifully made and constructed, conceived, executed. It's mind boggling. I love everything I've ever gotten from Gina K is awesome. I cannot overstate that. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's try it. Let's try it. Usually I use my um, stamping platform thingies. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but I don't want to mess with that right now. What are they called? You know what I'm talking about. Misty. Or the other one. I've got a couple. I don't have a couple. I have a lot of them. Usually I use them. Did I not just re-ink this? What am I doing wrong? Someone tell me. I had a notion that it'd be cool to do a little rim of these or a border in the center. So that's why I'm multiply stamping. Stamping multiple ones. There's an eyelash. One, two, three, four, five. Bravo, I think. That's gorgeous. I gotta do them till they're like that, you know. <laughs> Now that I know that's that's attainable, I have to attain it. <laughs> At least do a couple others just to see if I can get there. That's good. I think I'll do one more. 
I'm gonna have to stop this video and do, it's gonna be a 30 part video, just like all of them. Okay, I like the richer color, so that's why I'm still over here pressing. Hello. I store it upside down because I have it in my head. It makes the the pad stay juicier longer. Probably something I've invented, but you know, it makes me happy to invert them. What can I say? All right, back you go. Never to be found again. Probably. You guys aren't gonna stick around while I sit and cut out 40 ribbons, right? What am I going to do? I don't know. Actually, it's not too detailed a border, is it? I can cut it quickly, right? Sure I can. Okay, let's don't lose that stamp, shall we? Let's get there. All right. Okay. Do I want this size scissor? scissors or... I should cut these. I should turn off the video, cut these, and come back with another part. I think I will, because I'm going to be here a while. Yeah, I'll just stop it here, and I'll come back when I'm done with all this. 